How did you and other granddaddy meet? That's a story for when you're older. The kids at school were asking if you're a bottom or a top. They should not be asking that. <laughs> they said if that was your answer, then you were a bottom. Who are these kids Yo, you're talking to? I right? would like to have a word with their attractive fathers. Every day at rifle training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Your dad had the best penis in the military. What's okay. good, Dark Knight Gank? I'm Neptune. Hey, bro. Family Guy, another Funny Moments compilation. Ooh, I'm ready to laugh. I'm on Mars. Yeah. Let's watch this video together. Let's laugh. Let's have some positive vibes tonight. You feel me? I hope you had a great day, man. I hope you did. I did. I had a great day today. So I hope you did as well. I already know a lot of people going to be like, Brandon, you keep wearing this shirt. Listen, I'm trying to wear this shirt in 30 videos straight. I don't know. I've been high and I just came up with that idea. So that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, shout out to the gang. Family guy, funniest moments. I'm ready to laugh. I'm ready to have a great time. Yeah, man. After this, ups and downs from WrestleMania. Anyway, that has nothing to do with family guy. Let's watch this. Let's laugh together. Shout out to the gang. Let's go. Don't mind me, Brian. Just pushing the edge. Hmm. 14 Give me something zippers, funny. you must know, but it's not laugh. about my pants, Brian. It's about my fearlessness and pants. Now, I need to plan out every last inch of my climb tomorrow. If I do this right, I'm going to be remembered forever, like 9-11 was for a few years. You're just climbing a jungle gym. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? I pull this off, I go down in history, like my ancestor, the guy who was hanged next to Nathan Hale. I regret that I have but one life to give for my country. If you kill me, I'm going to immediately void all over here. All over here. You, historian, write down both our things. So this chick goes on a date with this guy that she wants to f but she's worried because she's got like a huge vagina from f***ing so many other guys. So she gets a piece of liverwurst and shoves it up in her vagina so that when he f***s her, it'll feel tighter. So she puts a liverwurst in her vagina, goes home with a guy, f him, everything seems fine. She wakes up the next morning, and he's gone, and he's left her a note that says... Thank you for a lovely evening. However, I don't think this is going to work out. P.S. Your vagina is in the sink. Now, I'm going to leave the room now as I have just sh myself again. What? Look at this, Dad. All these people came out just <laughs> to honor you. This is too you. random for oh, me right now. Good, son. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Dan Quagmire! Wally! Good to see you. Come on, Dan. Let's get a drink. <laughs> it's great to see you back in your element tonight, surrounded by semen. <laughs> Seaman. See, Quagmire, I told you he's gay. Shut up, Peter. Hey, you Dan's boy? That's right. Your dad was very brave back in Southeast Asia. He flew supplies in where others wouldn't dare to go. I can't tell you how many Pause. loads your dad took when I served with him. Oh, huh? my God. Glad I wouldn't miss this <laughs> night for the world. Everyone here admires your dad. He'd walk into an army barracks and make every private there feel important. No. Yeah, he just knew how to stroke those privates. Oh, oh my your God. Your dad was cock of the walk, Glenn. Every day at rifle training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Your dad had the best penis in the military. Okay, stop, <laughs> stop, dad. Are you gay? What? Are you gay, Dad? Oh, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Now, calm down. You're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm not helping. <laughs> Son, you have my word. I am not gay. <sighs> you promise? I promise. All right. I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. So this is when he first told him. Oh, come on, just be gay. I gotta say, this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Hey, do these pants look all right? Sometimes I put them on and I'm thinking I look all balls. No, I think you're good. <laughs> you think my balls are good? <laughs> you're so weird. It's Yo. awesome, though. Mmm, oh, mm, you gotta taste this lamb tagine. Mmm, here. Oh, that, no, that's okay. Come on, you'll love it. <coughs> That was what if you suck intense. His fingers? What you Yo. just did. <clears throat> what, sir? Is that Ryan Reynolds? Whoops. Well, freeze frame. What's gonna happen next? Are they family guy saying that nigga gay, huh? All right. Don't worry. I'm gonna take good care of you. I'm gonna call you Juan, and I'm gonna call you two. Good. He's been reading the book. <laughs> hey, 
you know, the cat's alone at Quagmire's right now. You know what we should do? We should go over there and shave it. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's shave the cat. <laughs> That's some evil shit. I wish somebody would shave my cats. Rock and roll! <laughs> yeah, shaving time. All right, hand me the razor. Oh, this is how... Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Oh, oh my God! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30. I went down at noon. Now I'm gonna be up all night watching bad reality TV. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. <laughs> what? <laughs> First, he's got to swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Wow, that's so racist. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Now, don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. I mean, let's be honest. We're not exactly the model of a healthy marriage. Oh, boy. Is this because of the time I pushed off of you after sex and bruised your boob? No. I mean, when was the last time you bought me flowers? Or, or we had a date night? We do stuff. Just last week, I let you watch me complain after eating too many hot wings. Oh, why did you let me do this, Lois? Why? Okay, Peter, I gotta take the kids to school now. <laughs> They've got my... Ah, this changes everything. Ooh, bubbles. Oh, looks like somebody was overdue for his bath time. That's why you've been so cranky. All right, after this, we'll get you into your footsie jammies and tucked into bed. Ah, finally. <clears throat> I can put that whole detention experience behind me and just live. Whoa. This nigga came out with a fiend. Yep, so that's how your granddad got his back tattoo and hepatitis. Never share a needle with Yo. Ben Affleck. How did you and other granddaddy meet? That's a story for when you're older. The kids at school were asking if you're a bottom or a top. They should not be asking that. <laughs> they said if that was your answer, then you were a bottom. Who are these f kids Yo, you're talking to? Right? I would like to have a word with their attractive fathers. All right, bro. Good video from Family Guy. I wanted a quick little laugh. You feel me? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I hope you guys laughed at some of these as well. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a great night. Yeah, I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.